Hi, uh, welcome to the session on uh, joint cost allocation method in which in this session we'll discuss about constant gross margin percent method or percentage gross margin method to allocate the joint costs to the joint products to allocate the joint costs to joint products um, if you remember what we are uh, discussing about, about the previous session was about how to allocate the joint cost to joint products this is uh, the joint cost incurred uh, in the joint operation and uh, we identified uh, different products at a split off point and call them as two different products joint product a joint product b and how to allocate the joint cost incurred in the joint operation uh, to joint products we use the methods like what we use the methods like uh, 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 percentage gross margin method uh, physical quantities method uh, sales value at split of point method and nrv method we discussed about the three other methods in the previous session and in this session we'll discuss about constant gross margin method constant gross margin method or percentage gross profit method under this method we allocate the joint costs to joint products based on their gross profit percentage gross profit percentage gross profit is the difference between sales and cost of goods sold so first step what we need to do is here we need to find out what is the gross profit then uh, we can find out the percentage gross profit percentage gross profit is nothing but gross profit over total sales times 100 uh, let us take this scenario that I have $400 of joint cost here. There's a split of point where the goods in the joint operation are identified and separated. Um, then we further processed the joint products to have more gross sales value here. Um, the, these products like cream and skim uh, were received from raw milk or processed by spending some processing costs additionally and are capable of selling uh, butter from cream um, at $500 and condensed milk at $1,100. Now the question is how much of this $400 should be charged to butter and, and uh, condensed milk? So we have two uh, products product one product two how how much of this four hundred dollars should go to butter and condense the milk using constant gross margin method for this what you need to do is you need to calculate the total sales value deduct the total additional processing cost also deduct joint cost so to find out gross profit what you need to do is you need to calculate the total sales value that is 500 plus 1100 this is the total sales value minus further processing cost that is 280 and 520 not only this we have even joint cost also so direct joint cost you will get gross profit after you're getting gross profit calculate percentage gross profit that is gross profit divided by net sales times 100 so here 1600 that is 500 plus 1100 1600 minus 280 minus 520 
minus 400 gives you 400 dollars 400 dollars 400 dollars gross profit divided by not total sales 1600 times 100 that will give you 25 percent so your uh, percentage gross profit is 25 percent yep. now let's see the workings yes you have a final sales value of butter 500 and condensed milk here 1100 total sales value is 1600 we have a separable cost of 280 for cream uh, uh, for processing charges for skimmed milk it is you no know, 520 direct 1000 or uh, direct 800 dollars from 1600 and the cost is 1200 minus or uh, uh, 800 minus 400 will give you 400 dollars here so 400 dollars is the gross profit from the total sales we deducted total additional processing costs okay plus the joint costs so additional processing costs 800 that's 280 plus 20 and also the joint cost of 400 total amounts are deducted from the sales to get gross profit gross profit divided by sales will give you the percentage gross margin gross profit divided by sales times 100 so you get percentage that is 400 dollars over 1600 times 100 25 percent so what do we understand here every hundred dollars of sale has 25 dollars of gross profit now we understand that uh, sale a sale money of 100 has a gross profit includes a gross profit of 25 dollars from this 25 percent the total cost will be 75 dollars so if this 75 dollars include a portion of joint cost and also the separable cost separable cost the 75 is the total cost if i know separable cost i can find out joint cost yes we know separable costs so let us find out joint cost of each product fine now let's recall let's let's recall our uh, um, the, the the separable costs separable costs remember uh, for butter we have uh, 280 and for skimmed milk it was 520 now we know that the sales value of these products are 500 and 1100 for butter and condensed milk 500 and 1100 this is the final sales value after split of point so sales value minus gross profit will give you total cost total cost minus separable cost will give you joint cost because this total cost consists of separable cost and joint cost let us find that way final sales value 500 from which we need to deduct gross profit here so 25 percent is a gross profit 25 percent gross profit 125 and 275 which is 25 percent of 500 and 25 percent of 1100 so when we find gross profit deduct this amount from the sales to get total cost 500 minus 125 dollars will give you total cost of butter uh, 1100 minus 275 will give you the total cost of condensed milk now let me deduct this amount yes the total cost is 375 dollars for butter and 825 for uh, uh, condensed 
But remember, this 1200 consists of joint cost and also separable cost. The separable cost we know what is spent for batters, butter, and what is spent for the skimmed milk. Yeah. So this separable cost, let us deduct it. The res resulting figure is going to be joint cost. So once you deduct gross profit, once you deduct gross profit, the next step is to find out the, the uh, uh, joint cost uh, after deducting uh, separable. Here we know that a separable cost of $280 spent for um, cream to, to transform it into butter and uh, $520 are spent for in processing charges uh, to transform skimmed milk into condensed milk. So these uh, separable costs are to be directed from their individual sales. Now let's find here uh, the joint cost by deducting the separable cost from the you know uh, total cost. Total cost. We know that the uh, separable cost of butter is two eighty, and uh, skim is five twenty. So when we know that the total cost is 375, but separable cost includes 280, the remaining is joint cost. Likewise for the other product, the total cost is 825, uh, the separable cost is 520, the remaining cost is going to be joint cost. Let us see the joint cost. Yes, so 375 minus 280 is $95 joint cost. Uh, 825 minus 520 is 305 which is joint cost of uh, uh, skimmed milk now if even if you cross verify the total joint cost including uh, this 95 and 3 305 it is 400 yes it is broad this is the end of the session on uh, joint cost allocation method using constant gross margin method. We'll catch up uh, a new topic in the other lesson. Have a good time.